Okay, welcome to Low Self-Esteem Month. I'm chatting with Naomi Harris. Naomi, do you want to tell us a bit about what you do and then we'll get on to the topic? I would love to. Hello, Emily. Hello, everybody. So like Emily said, I'm Naomi Harris. I work with women who are experiencing changes or issues with their sexuality and with their genitals, whether that's perimenopausal changes or whether that's pain with penetration or whether that's just a change of your sense of self and your libido all of that kind of thing to do with your genitals and then the impact that has on your sexuality and because it's self-esteem month the impact it has on your self-esteem as well and it does have a huge impact on people's self-esteem it really does doesn't it i see i see posts in the facebook group pretty much every day with somebody yeah. going how how is my husband or my partner or whoever even still with me i am not interested in sex it hurts blah 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 and yeah. and it's just it 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 kind of almost feels as though our femininity almost disappears in some way, doesn't it? Yeah, it's an interesting one to to look at like that because there is, of course, the change of the hormones, which is directly impacting the tissues of the body. And then also hormones have massive impact on our sense of self. But there's also, I, I feel, and from the work that I've done with women, like there's this sense of, Perimenopause and menopause can be a little bit of a time where things catch up with us a bit. So if we've had high stress lives up to that point. The body starts to go, no, I don't want to play anymore. And yeah, I'm done, to- thanks. Yeah. And then unfortunately, it's like sex drive that gives or libido that gives or sense of self that gives in that way. And and that can just feel so massive and so heavy. Um, and so then it becomes a bit of like what came first, chicken or the egg, because then that feeds into this sense of overwhelm and what's going on with my body and is my life over now as a woman and coming to terms with all of the changes and it's a massive it's a massive massive time of life for any woman and and incredibly upsetting especially in in couples where that kind of sexual connection has been their language as a couple if that makes sense you know for some couples their language is maybe going out for meals or it's what or exploring or traveling but for some couples it really is that sexual connection isn't it it is and one of the myths around perimenopause and menopause is that our sex as women our sex drive turns off like that's a really common thing I don't know if you've heard this Emily but like this is yes right this is a really common thing that's spoken over and over again your health professionals will tell you this it's like oh well you're you're coming into menopause so what are you even worried about like it doesn't matter anymore but the actual truth of it if you don't listen to all of those voices and if you actually like tune into your body the actual truth of it is perimenopause menopause and beyond is actually the time that women's libidos sex drive sense of self sense of their own bodies turn on juiciness arousal it actually comes online it has the potential to be the most expressed juicy alive t- time of life it's just that we're told it's not and so people believe that it's not yeah and 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 I, it's that whole thing of it it starts to become just purely for us you know yeah. during during your sort of fertile years there's if you're wanting kids or if you're not wanting kids you know sex kind of is has a purpose it's kind of a ch- chore isn't the word I want at all but do you know what I mean there's a there's a reason for it there's oh god I might do I need to avoid it whatever kind of thing and mm-hmm. then yeah we're coming into this this new stage of like actually this can be just for me this can be just freedom I want to yeah yeah absolutely and it really actually has the potential to have the most pleasure possible in your body as well like things because of the hormones kind of settling down and because of the changes in the brain and the changes in the nervous system things wake up and things can be juicier and and you know like I I've worked with a woman who she was she had more arousal on more natural wetness her own body created as an 80 something year old woman than she had in her entire life like the possibility of the body coming online is huge it just needs to be encouraged and supported to do that yeah and I guess I guess a lot of that ties in absolutely with self the self-esteem and sense of self and everything but you know when you when you reach a point of going this is this is me yeah this is me here I am I'm enough 
exactly as I am. That's so liberating on all fronts, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And with full compassion, because let's be honest, we're like, it's like an uphill battle because we're told that we're old. We're told we're no longer desirable. We're told we're no longer sexual. We're told we're no longer even supposed to be, even if we want to be. Nobody looks at us anymore when we walk down the street. Like the whole spectrum starts to kind of come at us. And so to take a stand and go, actually, I have worth. And I have, my body has worth and I have a right to the esteem and I have a life that I've lived and I have my own knowledge and my own turn on and everything. Like, it's like you have to plant the spear in the ground and take a stand for it against all the voices that are telling you something different. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just, I mean, that's absolutely what I'm always wanting to say to people, like all the societal voices, Yeah. just ignore them, get rid of them. They aren't helping you. Let's just listen to ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what it comes down to. And again, with full compassion, because this kind of crazy time when things are shifting and you don't know who you're going to be at the other end of it, the listening to yourself can be a little difficult as well because you're not sure you're not sure who you're going to be listening to on a day to day basis. <laughs> yeah. Which version of me is showing up today? Is it exactly the sobbing one? Which one yeah. is it? <laughs> and then you get the um, the extra challenging gift of loving all of those versions of yourself yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and who'd have thought there would be issues with low self esteem, huh? <laughs> right. Yes. Exactly. So, so, what can we do? Like, have you got sort of some little hints and tips to help people just to yeah. grow their self, their their sense of self, yeah. little by little? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. For me, for the work I do and the way that I work with women is it always comes back to the body. We can talk about these things. We can think about these things. We can read about the things. But until we actually come back to our own physical body and work it from the body basis, the profound change that we're looking for, like the transformative, transformational change that we're looking for doesn't really happen until we come back to the body. So... That's what I would actually say. Like if you are listening to this and you're like, okay, maybe there is a little bit of self-esteem that's available to me. Or maybe I want to like play with the idea that this could be a juicy, sexy time of my life, this and beyond. Come back to your body. And it can be really simple. And in fact, it probably needs to be really simple because life is crazy and we're all super busy. So, and the other thing to know is like, I always say, Five to 10 minutes a day has more power than one to two hours in a block in a one week. So if you can do small, gradual pieces, first of all, you get like exponentially more results from it. And secondly, you also get the bonus of your body going, oh, oh, this is our new normal now. Oh, I'm going to respond in the ways that you're asking me to respond because you're showing up for me every day. And so really simple things. If it all just feels too much and you're feeling overwhelmed, resting one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart and taking five minutes just to breathe with your body, just using your breath as a way to connect. And it sounds simple and it's something that's easy to dismiss. And it's also really, really deeply powerful practice. If you just give it enough time and just like every day, I'm going to show up for myself for five minutes. And then if that starts to feel good, maybe incorporating a little bit of touch as well and touch in a way that slows everything down, that you're actually touching yourself at the speed that you want to be touched at, which is likely to be quite slow and finding an area of your body, like for example, your belly, if you're um, not triggered by touching your own, your own stomach and giving it some slow massage with a nice oil and then really paying attention to How do I feel being a belly that's being, or a different part of the body that's being touched? And then how do I feel being the hand that's doing the touching? So you're like switching your awareness over and over again to bring yourself more deeply into your own understanding and awareness of your physical body. And then the third step, if you want to go hardcore, is doing some vulva massage. And so external genital massage without the intention of an orgasm or without pushing for something to happen, simply touching yourself for the sake of being present with your own body. It's transformative. It sounds simple, like I said, but spending time with our bodies like this is actually like 
the foundation of true transformation as I yeah. see it. And what what I the thing is uh, um, I know there will be people watching this who go, oh God, I hate my belly or I hate this yes. and I hate that. Yes. And, and the whole yes. thing of this is we're, we're taking, we're trying to get past that and, and go, yeah. it's, it's just, what does it feel like? Yeah. And the other thing is, is that, you know, with, with all of this stuff, like I get it, I get touching the, touching the belly and going, oh, it's squidgy and I know it's got cellulite on it and it's got stretch marks and it's bigger than it, you know, like all the stories we say about it. And if you show up every day and you touch it anyway and you're conscious not to direct those thoughts towards it, you're just like, I'm actually just here to touch for no reason than to touch. It starts to change your brain chemistry. It starts to change the the um, neural pathways in your brain so that it lessens the hold that the self-criticism and the self-hatred has and it becomes more of a nurturing and a loving experience and that's actually becomes transformation just in itself amazing i love that yeah. and so simple i love that so thank simple. you so much free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah thank you so much thank you emily my pleasure